if I can fix it, you can fix it. Today we'll be changing the oil of a Honda Pilot 2011. And there's all the stuff we're gonna be needing. We're gonna need shop towels to clean up any oil spills, oil pan, a tool to take out the bolt, gloves, funnel, filter, and oil. You're gonna also need the car to be lifted so you'll be able to go under and empty out the oil tank. So we're gonna go ahead and remove this here. So once it's loose enough, all you have to do is you can go ahead and start, you can untie in it with your hand. that drain out uh, keep moving the pan make sure you're right in the center I have the oil coming out in the center so you don't have any spilts on the ground Now that the drip, the dripping, it's almost done. So we can see if we can go ahead and wipe this here. Then now we're gonna go ahead and put the bolt back onto there. Go ahead. And Clean it a little. Okay, now we're gonna want to go ahead and tighten it here. Good. And now we're going to go to the on the side where. The oil filter is that. The oil filter is is right here. This white part right here. And I, I went ahead and put some cardboard here. So when we take off the filter and it starts leaking oil, it won't leave a big mess on the frame. And all of the oil will just fall straight into the oil pan, which I place right under. So once we take that off, it's going to start leaking onto here. So let's start taking this off. All the oil is going in here. You go, go ahead and throw your filter in there too because you no longer need it. All the oil from where the filter goes is all coming down and all into here. So as the oil filter is draining out, we're going to go ahead and get this one ready to be placed on. So. Once it's out of the box, you want to just dip your finger in there, just get a little bit, and then you're going to have to rub it on the seal here as you rub it around. Okay, good. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and put on the new oil filter. You just want to hand tighten it. Okay, there we go. Okay, now we got the hood open. We're gonna go ahead and come here. On this side is our oil dipstick. And on this side is where we'll be putting the oil in to this cap here. Oops, so we have to insert our funnel through there. Here, go ahead and put the funnel down there and we're gonna insert the oil through here but since there's not that much space we're gonna get this 
whole thing here to be able to pour we would be able to use two funnels okay now that all the oils and we can go ahead and put the oil cap back on okay and as you're putting it on make sure that let's go ahead and tie in it won't and try pulling on it to see if it comes off and make sure it's leveled now that you have all the oil in the all the new oil in we're gonna go ahead and check with the dipstick we're gonna pull it out get it off first put it back in and then you can see right there it's filled all the way to the top line top is right here so we're gonna go ahead and put that back in Make sure you push it all the way in. Okay, now that we filled up the car with oil and we checked the dipstick and everything's good, we can go ahead and restart the oil percentage. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and reset the oil percentage. See here it says 10%. So we're gonna go ahead and hold it down for at least five to 10 seconds until it starts to flash. Like that, let go, hold it down, let go, hold it down, there, 100% oil level. Now that you're done with all that, all you have left to do is just clean up, put the oil into this tank that's empty, and you know, with all that, then you're pretty much done now so if you found this video helpful go ahead and leave a thumbs up subscribe if you're not and as always if i can fix it you can fix it